Have you seen a job you want to apply for, but you have no industry experience? And now you're wondering, is it even worth applying? If you have the experience to do the work that the job entails, but you lack the industry experience, you can absolutely still apply for the role. You just have to do proper job research to increase your chances to land the job interview and eventually the job offer. And that's what we'll cover in today's video, how to do job research before the interview when you lack industry experience. This video is actually requested by a viewer, Blue Tang, who asked, could you do a video on how applicants can learn more about the industry they never worked in? I always find the job description lacking when it comes to knowing the core information about the industry, organizational structure, people I would get to work with, etc. Also, sometimes I searched online and thought I understood the role and the skills needed for that role. But during the interview, I realized that there's a whole bunch of other aspects that they are looking for, as well as a good understanding of the industry. So something about how to properly research the business industry. When I do it, I don't seem to get good info or anything relevant. And how to figure out the unwritten or not mentioned portion of the job. So today I'm going to show you how I would go about doing job research before the interview when you lack industry experience and how to quickly ramp up your industry knowledge. And in the next video, I will go through what you need to do in order to get the job when you have no experience once you've landed the job interview. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified as soon as I post new videos. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button below. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out and supports my channel. And it also tells YouTube that this is a useful video so they show it to more people. And by the way, if you have any questions about job interviews or there's a topic that you want me to do a video about relating to job search or landing a job, let me know in the comment just like Blue Tang did. Or head over to Instagram and send me a message there. The whole purpose of this channel is to help you land the job faster, so do let me know what will be helpful that I talk about here on this channel. The steps that I'm going to show you today are steps that I recommend that you do before you even apply for the role and not wait until you prepare for the interview. Why? Because when you do these job research steps, you're going to find out a lot more about the role, the company and the industry than what it's outlined in the job description. And this is information that you can use when you tailor the resume and write the application to make it stand out. Not only that, I'm going to show you how to read the job description properly so that you can already, at this stage, start thinking about how you can articulate your value and impact. And before you roll your eyes and click away, because it sounds like way too much work, I want to say two things. First of all, it took me approximately two hours to do this job research that I'm showing you in this video, and I was documenting the process as I was doing it just to be able to show you. When you do it, it may take it as long to start with, but if you make it a habit to do job research before you apply for any role, you're definitely going to get quicker at it. Secondly, suppose you land the interview with the company, which is the goal, right? In that case, this is research you absolutely should do in preparation for that interview. So by doing it before you apply and document it in the way that I'm going to describe to you, you've already done a lot of the preparation work. All right, so let's dive into doing the job research before the interview when you lack industry experience. The first thing you need to do is to read the job description properly so you extract all the relevant information. Job descriptions are not the best source when wanting to get a complete picture of a role, a company or an industry, but it will give you a starting point for doing your research. And it will focus the research on only looking for things that are relevant for that specific job. You don't want to go down any rabbit holes in your research because then it will take you a lot longer than the two hours to do this. So let's head over to LinkedIn and look at your job posting. Okay, so now we're in LinkedIn and in this example, I'm going to use a job advertisement. I have no associations with this company and I'm using this posting purely to show you how to do the research. So in this example, it would be a role that I have some experience in but I don't know anything about the industry. So I'm just quickly scrolling through the job ad to just check that it is something that I could apply for. So let me scroll all the way down to the bottom here. And 
Okay, so I see here that they have the company sections. The first thing I would do is to hit follow and then I will go all the way up to the top and I would save this post. And then what I would do is that I would copy this whole text into a Google Doc just so we can do some markups and add comments and look at the things that we actually want to dive deeper into. Now we have the job posting in Google Docs. So now we can start to do our markup. And what I normally do is that I will first do some color coding. So I would have one that says have experience. And then I would do another one, lack experience. A third one, need to check or follow up or need to research. I do need to research. And then I do a final one is noteworthy. Okay. And then I just color code them. Okay, so now we got our color coding and then I just start going through this document thoroughly, just sentence by sentence. So here at Jellyfish, we don't follow, we lead. So I would mark that one. And then I normally put a bit of a comment of what it is that I'm thinking. Um, thought leader, are they? So here I want to do a little bit of research who their competitors are and where they stand in the market. Okay, we move on. Headquarters in UK, global company. Okay, so this one I would mark as well and look into. And here I would want to know locations, uh, what size, and have I worked in any of these locations? Okay, so then moving on. And here it's more about the role your aim is to oversee the L&D team. Yeah, I got experience in that. So I put green. And as I'm going through this, if I can think of examples of how I can talk about the experience that I have, I would put that in a comment here on the side as well, because that helps me when I'm preparing for either the application or the uh, job interview. All right, moving on. L&D team proactively finds innovative solutions. Okay, so that's another example of experience that I have. And again, if I can think of something that I can talk about, the story that I can tell in an interview or a specific wording I can use in an application, I would write that comment. The next one, we strive to offer our people best in class L&D support. So here I would want to research what is best in class L&D support. So that's my research that I'm going to do later. Yeah, so I think you get the idea here of how I work my way through a job application to really extract the relevant information. So I will continue and do that here. And once I'm done, we can continue to the next step. And now I have a good understanding of what they are looking for. I have marked up where I have experience and where I'm maybe lacking experience. And therefore I need to think about how I position myself so that that lack of experience is not in focus. I also have a few areas that I have marked as information that is good to think about. And I also have a number of things that I need to research further. And like I said in the beginning, the job description isn't the best place to get information about the company or the industry, but we do have an idea of where to focus our research, which leads us to the next step in our job research. And that is to look at the company and the key people in the company. So what I've done is that I've added another page in our job description document where I have made three new headings company, industry, and job specific. And by the way, if you want this exact document that I'm using as a template, you can download it for free. I'll put the link in the description below. I've already added the research topics that I've highlighted, so I have it all in one place. And I don't have anything yet under the industry heading, but as we gain more knowledge about the company, I will fill this section with things that we want to look into. Okay, so let's head back into LinkedIn and check their company page. I would just go left to right here and go through each of the sections and take note of anything interesting. And I'm starting with the about tab. And here they say we support and drive digital information by providing the right technology, strategy and training. So I would just add that to my document under company information. But I would also make a note in this section to look into it further because at 
this point, that sentence doesn't say very much to me. I don't feel like I'm any clearer on what they do, if I'm honest. Okay. So we'll basically just go through this and pick up anything that I find is interesting and put it in my document. And then I would work my way through this page, similarly to what we did with the job description. Okay, so when I feel like I've extracted everything on this page, I would move on to the next tab, which is posts. And this one I would skip for now. I will definitely come back to it though, and especially before the interview, but I don't think I need to look for information here at this stage. We'll see. And then moving on to jobs. And here I would check the number of roles and the type of roles that they're hiring for to get a view of the kind of roles that they have open. I would also search to see if there are any other learning and development roles posted because the job description for those roles may contain useful information about the function. So I didn't find any related roles. So let's move on to the next tab, which is life. And this is really good because here they have three sections that I can dive into and straight off the bat, I can see three names here that is good to keep track of in their leadership team. So I would add the people into our document. And again, I would spend time reading through and write down anything that I find that can be useful for me to remember, or if there's anything I want to check further. And already here in the beginning, I can see something that really sticks out to me. And that is that they are stating that they're offering an academy for recent college graduates or those new to the industry and that they train candidates on every aspect of the digital marketing services. I would definitely write this down and research this to see if I can get more information about that academy that they're mentioning. I may not do it before I apply for the role, but I certainly do it before an interview. So this is how I would work my way through this tab or any of the other tabs here on LinkedIn, which I won't do now because this video is long as it is. But before we move on to the next step of the research, I want to show you one more thing that I would do while going through their company page on LinkedIn. I would go into the people tab and search for specific titles to get more information about the people that I might work with. For example, I would search for the person who I think might be the manager. It's not outlined in the job description, but it's probably the head of HR. So I would start my search there and then I would look for possible team members and I would also see if someone has the role today so I can go and check out their profile. I hope this is helpful so far and that you've already now have a better understanding of how you can do job research and preparation that will set you up as a strong candidate in an industry where you have no experience. If it's resonating with you, Hit that thumbs up button below because it will really help me. It will really support the channel and it will tell YouTube that this is a good video. So they'll show it to other people. All right, moving on, let's go to their website where you should have a good look around and you want to look for things like their history, what products and services they have, who do they serve. You want to check out their career pages to see what information you can find about working there and also check for their values and things like mission and vision statements. All of these things you want to capture in your document in the company information section. In our example, they got a lot of information here that will allow me to dive deep into what they do and who they serve. They have great descriptions of their methods and there are case studies that I can read to get more information about their business. So I would read all of this and I would take note of things I want to remember. And when I add things about the company, I normally write it in my own words as if a friend would ask me, so what does company X do? You could write it as if you would answer the question, what do you know about our company? And if you want to know how to answer that question, head over to this video after you finish watching this one. What I find though, that using the friends angle when researching the company and industry at this stage of the job search, it's easier. I don't have to be so careful about the wordings. And as you can see, I also normally bullet points the things that I find because I find that it's giving me a better overview. Suppose I come across a sentence or a paragraph in an article or a blog post or something like that, which provides me with a clearer description of something related to the company, the role or the industry. In that case, I'll just copy it into the relevant section in my document. And once I'm done, I may go back and tweak the wording so it's easier for me to understand and to remember. At this point in the research, you will most likely already have come across a few of the unwritten rules aspects. 
the things that are not mentioned in the job description, but that are aspects that you're supposed to know either about the industry, the work itself, or the company. So what I'll do is that I'll add a heading in the document that I call unwritten rules or not mentioned in the job description. And I would capture those things in that section. If I come across acronyms or technology that I don't know what it is, I document that too and mark it as something I want to research. I probably won't do any further research on this until it's time to prepare for an interview, but these would be the things to capture and to research further. When you're finished with this step, you should have a good understanding of the key information about the company and you probably also have a couple of bullet points listed under the not mentioned in the job description. So let's move on to step three, which is researching the industry. In this step, I would turn to Google to find out as much as I can. I would search for things like which industry is the company in? Who are the company's competitors and what is the industry? From there, I would dive deeper into the information that I find until I'm satisfied that I have a good understanding of the company and the industry. So when I'm done, my document is quite long and have a lot of useful information. The next thing I would do is to look at Glassdoor to see what employees are saying. I would do a pros and a cons list and I will take note of the comments that they put on Glassdoor. And if a comment is making me realize something about their culture or their way of working or anything else that you can expect in the role, I would add it to my unwritten rules list or in whatever section is relevant for me to capture my realization. When you're finished with step three, you will have a document that looks like this and you should now have a pretty good basic understanding of the job, the company and the industry. At least good enough to submit an application that you can tailor based on what you've learned so these are the steps that I recommend that you do if you want to land a job without the industry experience. And once you've applied, I recommend that you start following the company on social media and you start following key stakeholders like the CEO, for example. And I also recommend that you continue capturing information in the document we worked our way through in this video. And you can download the template for free here using the link below. Another thing I recommend is that you check if you have any connections that work in the industry already and that may be people that you can approach to ask if they're willing to share some of their insights with you. Also, search for people on LinkedIn using either the company name or the industry name and see if there are people you can start building connections with and eventually tap into their insights about the industry or company. This is a great way to validate your findings and to deepen your knowledge about the industry and find more of the unwritten rules and things that are not mentioned in the job description but that the hiring team may be looking for. And if you want me to do a video on how to approach people on LinkedIn, let me know in the comments. I hope this video was useful for you and that you now have a good understanding of how to do job research before the interview when you lack industry experience. And if you are struggling with landing job offers despite attending interviews and you would like me to help you personally, reach out to me at Petra at thecareerupgrade.com and let me know how I can help. And be sure to check out this video next for more preparation tips. Thank you so much for watching. Do drop a like in the video if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.